Hello guys and welcome to our YouTube channel Scratch Learners. Today in this video we are going to discuss about the flag registers of 8085 microprocessor and we will also see how to check their status with the help of an example. So in the last videos we have discussed about the block diagram of 8085 microprocessor where we have seen there were many general purpose registers and special purpose register. So this flag register is one of the special purpose register of 8085 microprocessor. So starting with the topic, what is the flag register? A flag register is the status register in microprocessor that contains the current state of the microprocessor. So this is a special purpose register and this is the status register that contains the current status of microprocessors that means after any arithmetic or logical operation or any operation in the microprocessor the status of the resultant built is stored in the flag register so this flag register can hold only one value at a time so it can take values either 0 or 1 the bit 1 means set and the bit 0 means reset that means a flag register is set when it contains 1 and it is reset when it contains 0. In 8085 microprocessor, the flag register consists of 8 bits, but only 5 of them are used to check the status. Other 3 bits are don't care bits. So the flag register can have a total of 8 flags. You can see here, there are 5 flag registers and the other 3 that means this position, this one and this one are the don't care bits. That means these bits remain unassigned and are not used in checking the status of the microprocessor. So as the flag register is of 8 bits, we have assigned it from the lowest bit D0 to the most significant bit D7. And talking about the 5 significant bits, these are the first one that is the bit at the most significant place is the sign flag, then the zero flag, then the auxiliary carry flag at the bit D4. Then parity flag is present at the bit D2. Then at the least significant bit we have the carry flag. Now let's discuss about the functions of all these flags and how to check their status. So let's start the discussion about the sign flag. So as we can see here the sign flag is present at the most significant bit that is the D7. So after any arithmetic or logical operation if the most significant bit that is the bit D7 of the result is 1 then it indicates the number is negative and the sign flag becomes set that means 1. So if we just take an example that is a hexadecimal number A7 when it is represented in binary then we will get this. So here we can see the most significant bit is 1. So in this case this number is negative and the sign flag becomes set. That means in the flag register at the most significant bit we will store 1. But if in any other case the most significant bit is 0 then the number is positive and in that case the sign flag will become 0. Now talking about the 0 flag after any arithmetic or logic operation if the result is 0 okay, then the 0 flag becomes set that means it will contain 1 else it becomes reset. So after any operation if the result is our 00, 00 hex then it means the 0 flag will contain 1. So in the D6 bit we will store 1 if the resultant is 0 else the 0 flag will contain the value 0. Now talking about the auxiliary carry flag after any operation if the bit D3 generates any carry and passes on to the bit D4 then this flag will become set. So if we consider this as the 8 bit of any number then here if a carry is generated in this position and it is shifted to the bit D4 then the auxiliary carry flag will be set that means it will store 1. Otherwise if there is no carry shifting from the bit D3 to D4 so the auxiliary carry flag will be reset that is 0. So this is known as the nibble to nibble carry. We know that 8 bit is equals to 1 byte, right? And 4 bits is equals to 1 nibble. So, in this case, if we consider this to be a nibble and this to be the second nibble. So, here the carry is being shifted from one nibble to another nibble. 
so this is known as auxiliary carry flag now in parity flag if we consider the even parity mode then if the result contains even number of ones then this parity register that is the parity flag register will become set so it will contain one so let this be a number and here we can see there are six ones present so in this case if we consider the even parity mode then the parity flag register will contain one but if there would have odd number of ones then in even parity mode it will contain zero now if we consider the odd parity mode then the whole process will be reversed that means in odd parity mode if the result contains even number of ones then the parity register will become zero otherwise one now the last flag register is the carry flag so here if a carry is generated after addition or if a borrow is generated after subtraction in the resultant value then the carry flag is set else it will be reset so in case of addition if we add any two numbers then if a carry is generated then we will set the carry flag or in the case of subtraction if a borrow generates then also the carry flag will be set to 1 otherwise it will be reset to 0 so this was about all the flag registers now let's consider an example and try to find out the status of all the flag registers here we need to find out the status of the flag register after addition of ad hex and c4 hex so let's add them so these numbers are in hexadecimal let's convert them into binary so ad hex is equals to 10101101 here c is 1100 4 is 0100 so we will add them here 1 plus 0 equals to 1 0 plus 0 equals to 0 1 plus 1 equals to 0 carry 1 now 1 plus 1 equals to 0 carry 1 1 plus 0 equals to 1, 1 plus 0 equals to 1, 0 plus 1 equals to 1 and 1 plus 1 equals to 0 carry 1. So we will write carry here. So this is our answer. This is our 8 bit answer and this is the carry generated. So let's draw the flag register for this. So this is our flag register. So I have written the result here. Okay. And here I have marked the bit number so coming to the sign flag the sign flag is one if the most significant bit of the result is one so here the most significant bit that is the bit d7 is having zero so this sign flag will contain the value zero now coming to the zero flag this is one if the number is zero but here we can see this is not zero this is equals to what here see zero one 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 so it is seven and here is 1 and here we are having a carry 1 so this is 71 right this is not equals to 0 so we will store 0 here now the auxiliary carry flag so see here this is the first nibble and this is the second nibble right here a carry was being shifted from the bit d3 to d4 right just see here 1 plus 1 equals to 0 and carry 1 right here the auxiliary carry flag will be set to 1 as a carry is being shifted from D3 to D4. Now the next one is the parity flag. Here we are considering the even parity mode. Now here we will count the number of 1s in this number. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 number of 1s. This is an even number. Hence we will store 1 in the parity flag. Now the last one is the carry flag. So this carry flag is set to 1 if a carry generates from the resultant. So here we can see we are getting a carry 1. Right. So here we will store 1 in the carry flag. And all the 3 bits are don't care. Right. So, so I am marking it with cross. So in this way we found out the status of all the flag registers. So I hope you understood this video. Still, if you are having any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. See you in the next video. Thank you.